Okay, good evening class. My name is Martin Greenwood. I'm a student in the uh, Seminar in Human Resources Management class and uh, this presentation will discuss my uh, learning contract project uh, due in week, si week 6 for the Seminar in Human Resources Management. Um, my project focused specifically on the Orange County Sheriff's Department and detailing four job descriptions for divisions within the uh, executive command of the Orange County Sheriff's Department. So what I took on with this project is, and what I learned a great deal about in this course, is narrowing down uh, a job analysis to formulate in turn uh, relevant job descriptions uh, for um, specific indiv individuals and the jobs they hold. Um, the Orange County uh, Sheriff's Department was the organization I chose because uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge proponent of the rank and file and chain of command organizations. Uh, I'm uh, active duty military, so that's what I know best. And uh, I live in Orange County here in California, so look to conduct research on that specific organization. And so what I did when I uh, narrowed down uh, my learning contract was I identified four key billets or four key job descriptions or four key jobs uh, in Orange County Sheriff's Department uh, that were identified by four uh, key divisions uh, within the, the the department, and so what I did, what I noticed when I was doing my research uh, for the department is that there wasn't a sound job description in place that they had identified for these four job descriptions. So I wanted to use this project as an opportunity to make them aware uh, of how they could utilize job descriptions to educate their employees as well as the public uh, in general, uh, so that they can be aware of how the department runs. And then you could go, you could go into uh, public accountability of law enforcement commands and ensuring they're doing the right jobs and knowing that they're doing the right jobs. And the start of that would be identifying these um, uh, these job descriptions and making them understandable to the public. Uh, the first job description uh, in the uh, uh, excuse me in the uh, learning contract uh, was um, uh, the administrative services command. So just to break it down for you, there was four uh, commands in the Orange County Sheriff's Department uh, titled uh, the Administrative Services Command, uh, the Custody, uh, Custody and Court Operations Command, uh, the Professional Services Command, and finally the Field Operations and Investigative Services Command. And each command uh, had a lot of similarities in their job descriptions. There were a lot of, uh, for, for, for example, requirements to hold jobs in these uh, component commands were quite a lot of similarities. In their descriptions there were uh, several differences that were highlighted in my uh, in my learning contract uh, that identified uh, specifically what these commands are utilized for. Uh, so these four commands are run by a senior level sheriff uh, in the department. So while he's not the actual sheriff of the Orange County Sheriff's Department, they do title him sheriff of each division command, uh, division subordinate command in the uh, Orange County Sheriff's uh, Department. Um, so the first uh, command was the Administrative Services Command. I detailed the job title and general responsibilities as well as the major duties uh, of that command. And I uh, conducted interviews with the Orange County Sheriff's Department to, to, to narrow down exactly what it takes to occupy this job duty, being uh, strong communication skills were emphasized. Uh, the ability to manipulate various deport reports since, you, uh, since that individual will be uh, working with a lot of data and a lot of administrative details and services. Uh, computer skills were uh, a requirement, being able to type fast and work with a lot of uh, Microsoft Office products. Uh, it's an office job, but it's one that requires a lot of supervision to subordinate managers and ensuring that the administrative side of the house is clean and in order. The second division uh, command was the custody, um, excuse me, was the custody and court operations command. So w within this command, uh, supervisors deal a lot with uh, inmates. They deal a lot with ensuring um, locking and holding cells are run accordingly. Uh, one interesting uh, statistic on this was that they're, um, these individuals who run this command are responsible for 64,000 bookings each year. Uh, so uh, it's you know it's, as the general public is aware they have their hands full and um, again, uh, those numbers are actually pretty appalling what they tell me uh, they're responsible for housing 6,000 inmates each day so this this occupant or this uh, man or woman who has occupied this billet as the cust custody and operations assistant sheriff 
uh, will definitely have uh, uh, their major duties full and that they are supervising an additional five subordinate commands under the Custodian Operations Command uh, in order to square away their um, housing facilities for inmates. Uh, the third uh, command was the Professional Services Command. Their general responsibilities include a commitment to personal and professional development within the Orange County Sheriff's Department. It takes a real people person to be involved in the pro uh, Professional Services Command. It takes someone who is social, ability to communicate well, and I'm running out of time, I'm sorry. Uh, my video is about to cut short. Uh, it, it takes someone uh, able to communicate well with other people, uh, interact with uh, peers, subordinates, superiors, and be able to do that well so you can uh, ebb and flow communication accordingly and ensure positive uh, happenings are occurring within the uh, Sheriff's Department. Uh, I'm running over my five minutes here. Lastly, the Field Operations and Investigative Services Command. This is kind of like your uh, your big dogs, your, your key players in the Field Operations and Investigative uh, Services Command. The major duties involve supervising the overall conduct of field officers. Um, ensuring investigations are handled accordingly in um, high-level crimes, uh, and, and it takes a lot of maturity to be in this one. Uh, one uh, piece of advice on the job description that they recommend uh, applicants when they want to work for this command is uh, maintaining a secret clearance. Uh, and a lot of military uh, guys, like myself, if I ever wanted to go work for a police department, having that secret clearance is obviously a one-up in getting into this specific command. So uh, the individual occupying this command would be the uh, field operations sheriff, and he's got a lot on his plate in ensuring basically operations uh, are taking place and are taking place well on a daily basis uh, within this command. So that was my learning project summed up uh, in so far seven minutes. Uh, I hope uh, I hope the my goal is that the job description is informative for you. That you, what you take away from it is being able to conduct your own job descriptions in accordance with the text, as well as the references you see listed in the bibliography. Um, I hope this uh, video was worth your while, and uh, please feel free to email me if you have any more questions regarding job descriptions. Would love to be of help. Uh, thank you for your time, and good luck uh, uh, to the rest of you all for your projects. Thank you.